Hello. The James Webb Space Telescope blasted off from French Guiana on Christmas Day 2021, headed for the L2 point in space. So where is the L2 point? I thought I'd give a little visual demonstration. Over here is a small model of the Earth, and on the same scale, we have the Moon. About that far apart. So how far is the L2 position? Quite a bit further away. The L2 position lies far beyond the orbit of the Moon about four times the distance. This is, however, too far away to be in a stable orbit of the Earth. Objects closer into the Sun feel a larger gravitational force than those further out, and must orbit faster in order to stay in a roughly circular orbit. The further out an object is, the further it will start to lag behind those in a closer orbit. If instead we put a large planet into the equation, then objects close enough will also feel a gravitational force from the planet as well as the Sun. An object between the Earth and the Sun will feel the pull in opposite directions giving a slightly reduced net gravitational force compared to the situation if the planet wasn't there. An object beyond the Earth will feel a slightly increased net gravitational force. There's an equilibrium point just inside the Earth's orbit. This is L1, the first Lagrangian point, and outside the Earth's orbit at L2, the second Lagrangian point, where the gravitational force is modified just enough that the object keeps up perfectly with the Earth in its orbit. L2 is an unstable equilibrium. It's like trying to balance a broom on the pointy end. It can be done, but you need to make small adjustments to keep it in position. And if you stop making the small adjustments, then eventually it stops working. The same will be true for James Webb. During its operational period, it makes small halo orbits around the L2 position, using its fuel to keep it in position. But when the fuel runs out, it will enter an independent orbit of the Sun. One reason for putting the telescope at L2 is that the Sun, Earth, Moon and James Webb will always be in a rough straight line and therefore can be easily shielded out to keep the telescope free of interference, and more importantly, cool, which is needed for infrared observations. All this without getting too far away to communicate with the Earth. And the halo orbit makes sure that the Earth never blocks out the Sun's light, so it's con got continuous solar power. If you did want to make this model of the James Webb Space Telescope, then there is a printout you can download from the NASA website, cut it all out and glue it all together, and I'll put a link in the video description. So, thanks for watching.